there are four issues that are really important to you today. One is the redefinition of job business, jobs, business, and purpose. If you have been a winner in your business, it has been because you hired the smartest people to be your team. In a couple of years' time or a couple of months' time, depending on which business you're in, the smartest person in your business is going to be a machine. Are you hiring that machine? And what happens when you replace the one that you, the person, the human that you have with that machine. What happens to that human's career? The second is what I call the concentration of wealth and power. Don't lie to yourself. We've always lived in a world of kings and peasants. There would be a piece of land where the farmer would sow the seed and take care of the farm and eventually get the harvest and the king would make the landlord, would make the money. The person that owned the automation was the one that always made the money. Who owns the automation? Open AI, chat GPT, or, you know, Bard and Google, Microsoft. The current automation, the digital seeds will be all of us sitting there putting things in prompts while the actual automation of the king is not with you at all. Problem two. Problem three is what I call the end of the truth. If you're not aware of that, maybe you shouldn't be concerned because you don't care about the truth anyway. But the truth is our definition of beauty has been completely redefined because every woman for many, many years in our lifetime has competed with plastic surgery. Now it's competing with the impossible of AI-generated models. Go and search for hashtag AI model and you'll see that it's becoming impossible to compete. There has been, without mentioning names so that I don't promote it too much, one in, uh, Instagram influencer that created an AI clone of herself that made $72,000 in the first week just flirting with people for a dollar a minute. Think about that. Think about the changes to our society that happen when the truth disappears. And by the way, did you know, by the way, that in Finland, there are more brunettes than there are in Sweden? Did you know that? I just made that up, by the way. But just by making it up, I have occupied part of your brain. You either agreed or disagreed. If you became passionate about the topic, you'd actually go and do the research. You want to prove me right or wrong. I've influenced you already. Most of the stream of information that you get from the internet every day is driven by AI. Are you ready for that? Where is the truth? How can we make sure that there is a truth? And then finally, of course, you know, I say that with, without scaring anyone too much, there was an arms race to creating the first nuclear bomb between the two sides of the war. The one that created the bomb used it. Remember that. The ones that will break the code on superintelligence will completely stop the rest of us from making any further advancements. Be aware of that. Very gloomy picture, Mo. Come on. This is the end of the day. I told you that the next big moment in the future of our planet is known as the moment of singularity. A moment of unknown. Unknown why? because there is absolutely nothing inherently wrong with intelligence. Do you understand that? Intelligence is why we're here together today, not in the jungle finding some, fighting some kind of a beast that's trying to eat us. Intelligence is what got us here. There's absolutely nothing inherently more wrong with intelligence. An abundance, or abundance of intelligence would solve all problems. With enough intelligence, we can solve climate change. With enough intelligence, we can pro prolong human lives. With enough intelligence, end of jobs would be an amazing thing because, by the way, we humans were not made for jobs anyway. Right? The, jobs are an invention that's 120 years old. Maybe it's all about getting together and connecting as humans and finding each other and contemplating and reflecting on things that matter, not going to, the, to work every morning. Maybe. There's nothing inherently wrong with intelligence. There is a lot inherently wrong with human greed. If you give enough abundance of intelligence to a system that is capitalist and prioritizing your own power and wealth, things will go wrong. Why am I saying this in Finland? Because you guys have been ahead of the world in many, many areas. Climate change is one that I always, always was very proud of you for. The trick here is that this, I told you it was a net, Netscape moment, this is an Oppenheimer moment. This is a moment where we recognize that a nuclear bomb, a nuclear power harnessing the nuclear power can be good for us or bad for us. This is the moment where we get together before the first nuclear bomb and say, people, seriously, with enough intelligence, we can have enough abundance for anyone, can we please stop fighting? This is also, so this, I believe, is the role of government. The role of government, everyone will talk to you about government regulation. Good luck with regulating something that's 10, 15 times more smart than you, let alone a billion times smarter. The role of government is to prepare humanity. The challenge that is ahead of us is not an AI challenge. It's the challenge of humanity in the age of AI. It's the challenge of the ethics and values that will be applied when one of us has significantly more power than the others.
And it's the challenge that is leading us to the arms race that we have today. Trillions of dollars being poured into the industry. The role of government, and I ask you to ask your government to initiate this because it won't be initiated in the bigger governments, believe it or not. The US government will always talk about what China or Russia is as a threat to them. They're not going to talk about the benefit of humanity. You need to tell your government, can we please start talking about this? Can we please try start talking about a universal basic income if a lot of us use our, lose our jobs? Can we please start talking about about you know, what will the taxation structure be for those who harness the power of artificial intelligence. Can we please talk, start talking about initiating a conversation around the world that puts humanity on top of capitalism?